Good morning. My name is Jen. My husband and I live in the Merrimack Valley of Missouri and we love our home. We also love to cook and my family loves to eat. We grow food to help keep us stocked up for the winter season and sometimes you'll find us just relaxing a bit. So just come on in and join us today on Jen's Merrimack Valley home. Well, here we are. Uh, as I told you, we are going to take this old shed down to the frame and make a greenhouse out of it. Um, the new shed is over here. There's our new shed. And we're going to be taking down this shed. So things are a little bit of a mess right now. It's just a work in process. My husband's trying to pull some old... Um, rotted landscaping timbers out that was there before we moved in. Get those all out of there. <laughs> we bought, well we didn't buy it, we rented a tiller this morning because this is the area I'm going to be putting my cold frame So we got lots of stuff here that we have dug up or found in the process of taking this part. But as you can see, we've got the frame there. My husband did have to reinforce one of the um, one of these here. We found out when we took it apart that it wasn't really <laughs> that enforced. So, but as you can kind of see, we've got this half torn off. And then we do have some corrugated see-through roofing up there that we're going to put up there. And we've only got half of this done, so that's why the tarp's over there. Doesn't look like much now, but it'll shape up real soon. Now, this part here is where we're going to start tilling, digging up, and it's probably going to go to about over there where my husband is. Isn't that about right, honey? Huh? We're going to till over to that spot. I'm going to till over here to where this board is, right here. Okay. I'm going to till it to right here. To right there. And we're going to get it wide enough to where we can really, a lot of this is protected mm -hmm. during the summertime with the trees. Yeah. So what we plant in here is going to be kind of shade loving. So... Quite a bit of work to do on it, but it'll get there. So I just wanted to show you what was going on with that. And 
some of the progress we're making. Like I said, it don't look like much now, but it will. So I'll just keep you updated. Now this is where my garlic is going to be planted this year. I used to have it up front, and I'm, my husband made me a patch here. I still got my one little bush there that's still blooming, but that's all right. We're going to put some garlic in here. And it'll go through the winter just fine. Now this little bed I'm going to be cleaning out. Pretty much most of it has basically died out or dying out. Excuse my neighbor's dog barking. But as you can see, it's wilted and dried, and I just need to pull that out of there. And I won't be planting anything in this bed until next spring, because this is where I normally put my flowers. So, uh, sad to see it go, but we'll see it next spring. So, hey there, we are still working on tilling up some dirt and making it um, a place and uh, it's really kind of weird. Uh, the ground in here had so many sticks and dirt and stuff, and uh, I wanted to put my cold frame down here, so uh, let me show you what we have going on today that I'm working on. So here's where I'm going to start my cold frame. I bought it. There's all my pieces right there and I have my instructions if I can get them all together here so that's the basic way it's supposed to look so we're gonna put this up see my husband tilled all that up so I'm gonna be using that next year to grow you see, really, in a small area, you can grow a lot of things. You just have to be resourceful of the room that you have. So for right now, this is where my cold frame's going to go. And you can still hear my husband up front. He's digging up a patch up there with the tiller. <laughs> and we're going to be planting some things there um, next year. But, uh, yeah, we're getting it on the go-go here, and we will be back here shortly to show you some progress. So this is my husband taking nails that he can't get out with a crowbar, and he's grinding them off, and I hope he's very careful. You can 
definitely smell him grinding that down. And um, it's been one heck of a day. We've really been busy, and my husband's been working on my uh, greenhouse, and he's making some progress with this uh, with this um, roofing that's on here. It this shed was here when we we bought this place, and. I don't know how long the shed has been here, but um, he <laughs> had to actually uh, grind some of the nails tops off of them to get them out of the roof. So uh, he was out here with the grinder also trying to, to get this other part of the roof up with uh, the crowbar he'll probably come back out in a little bit it got kind of hot out today um, here it is you know the 28th of, of September and we're still having you know like almost 90 degree weather so hopefully it'll cool down just a little bit here but I did want to show you um, I did get my, my cold frame. I think I might have give you a little glimpse of it earlier when I was showing you my husband on top of this roof out here and uh, working on the um, on my um, greenhouse. <laughs> Doesn't look much like a greenhouse yet, but I promise you it will. Uh, so if you'll give me a second, we'll walk over here to uh, my little cold frame, and we're going to do a little bit of planting in there. So just, just hang on just a second. Okay, so here it is. Here's my little cold frame. I had one last year, and I've got one this year, and they do extremely well. Uh, I grew um, spinach and lettuce greens um, all year long and I actually even had some uh, dill that I had planted prior to putting uh, earlier in the season and when I put this cold frame down in the other spot I used to have it in the <laughs> dill actually came back up so um, <laughs> So it was that was kind of good. I had some dill also um, that was growing during the winter, but this is where I've got it this year. I've got it back on the back side of my house, next door to the shed here, which looks like a really huge mess right at the moment, but we'll take care of that. So. Well, we're going to be planting, and I actually have to kind of back up, too, and say that um, I have, I get a lot of my seeds from various places, but more so here lately, I've been getting them from a place called Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, and they're in Mansfield, Missouri. Now, I live in Missouri, and I know right where Mansfield is, because we used to live near that area. But they make heirloom seeds, non-GMO. Um, and they had this new uh, um, some new seeds out, actually. And one of them is called Tatsoy. Hold on just a second here. One of them is called 
Tatsoy. And then there's another one, because when Baker Seeds sends you seeds out, they always send you a free packet of seeds. It's called Mizuna. Free seed, just for ordering. So, I actually did a little bit of um, searching on the internet because I was not real up on what these were. So the Mizuna is, um, grows small to medium in size, in height, and it grows in bunches. And it's got a central stalk with long stems. And they have dark green leaves, which are smooth, and they kind of have a glossy surface. And they bear deeply serrated edges with kind of a fringed, feathery appearance. The thin, narrow white stems are firm and offer a crunchy texture. And you can either harvest them both at the baby stage and at the mature stages with the younger leaves being more tender and milder and the mature leaves being crisp with a peppery, piquant, and mildly bitter sweet taste. So these are available year round. You can plant them best. They will grow in the heat, but they say it's best to grow them, you know, in the fall or spring. So we're going to plant those in there today. And then the other, the tatsoi, is also known as spinach mustard and it's broad-leafed green vegetable it varies in color from pale green to very dark green and it also has kind of a creamy noticeably distinct flavor and it is kind of spoon shaped so that's why they call it spoon mustard um, it's a formidable plant and it can withstand 15 degree weather wow that's pretty good Actually, you could grow that and then just put a floating row cover over that. And it can be harvested from underneath the snow. Um, and it can be eaten either raw or cooked and makes a great substitute for spinach or lettuce or for any greens in a salad. So we're going to do that today. And you can see I've got a little bag of dirt here. <laughs> and... Um, what's left of that bag and um, as you can kind of see when you look down in here I've already got it well dug up my husband you know did all that yes uh, all that um, tilling and then we smoothed it out and then of course there are two vents on here so like on days, maybe like today, I would want to leave this open so that it doesn't get super hot in there. It will form condensation, so you don't really have to uh, water very much. Um, I think last year I watered maybe a couple of times during the winter. Uh, because I did check it, you know, every, every few days. But this is what we're going to do. And um, I'm going to uh, uh, go ahead and get it to where we can, uh, where you can see it. And I'll be right back. Okay, well, I hope you can see me doing this. I'm doing my best to get it to where I can get down in here. And I think I'm going to make my rows. I can go this way or I could go this way. But it's a little tough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a row over here a 
it actually says that it will sprout in 10 to 14 days. The ideal temperature is 60 to 80 degrees and a quarter of an inch depth is how we want to plant these. So, we're going to see. row about right here. And I've already got a bug in here. <laughs> I'll try to get these rows a little better as far as making the rows a little deeper. are kind of big. I've actually got more than plenty and I'm just gonna feed them in there like that. Just keep I just love growing things all year long. through here. Boy, I, I really don't know if I can stretch all the way over here, but we're going to give it a try. it all. There we go. Alright, so now we've got that in there. And I'm actually just going to put some dirt on top.
really excited about these. I, I hope they take really well. around. I think that is plenty. That covered up all of my rows. And I'll come back out here later and plant my mizuna. But I just wanted to show you here again how you know you can use small spaces to grow your food year round. And uh, I really need to go and get a little bit of water and water this down just a little bit. So, that's really, that's really all there is to it. Just get you one of these. I bought this um, last year. I'm not sure if it was Amazon or it was some online catalog. Um, if I can find it again, I'll put it in the description box. Uh, other than that, it's been a really busy day. And uh, I'm just going to put a little water on these, and I'm going to go in the house and cool off a little bit. And, uh, and call, well, not so much call it a day, but be a little bit cooler anyway. <laughs> so, if you like my videos, and you've learned something from them, Please give me a thumbs up, a like, share, and please subscribe because that helps me out uh, with YouTube. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, please let me know. <laughs> There's a fly flying around me right now. Uh, please let me know. Um, I'll put my email in the description box and or you can leave comments uh, down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, you know, folks, whatever you got, wherever you live, it's your home, and you make it your home. You make it however you need it to be. And this is kind of what me and my husband have done. So we figured in our retirement years, which were coming up on real fast, my husband's already retired, but for me, I've got till next year. And then I'll be retired. So I'm looking forward to it because I stay busy. But we've got so many projects we're going to be doing. And this is just one of them, the, the greenhouse. Um, yeah, I could have went and bought one, but I just didn't want to not use the structure that we already had here. So we're just trying to make this work out and it will work out so um, but there's still plenty of work to do and we're doing that so you'll have a blessed day the rest of your day and uh, just uh, enjoy your life and and get some of these uh, good seeds from Baker Seed Company and try some of them. You'll, you'll really, really enjoy them, I think. And uh, I'll put that in the description box as well. So have a great day. And as always, don't let your heart be troubled.
Have a wonderful evening, guys.